radio, been watching since a baby, so I'm representing KC Mo. KC Mo. I'm representing KC. Hi, it's Kenny Sports TV here, back with another video. Today we'll be talking about Jamal Charles, Eric Berry, and CJ Spiller, and how they all three relate to each other. So as many maybe Chiefs fans know, they might have seen already that um, Jamal Charles was released. I mean, we didn't re-sign him because he had torn his ACL twice in a row. We brought in C.J. Spiller to re not to replace him, but as a running back to fill his roster spot, I guess. And he's been on like four teams in the last two years, so um, he's kind of an insane runner. But he's one of the fastest players in the NFL. So, I mean, I don't know what... I'm guessing he's going to have a special teams role, not really a running back role, but we'll see. But anyways, we'll be talking about... um, Jamal Charles was dropped. I don't think he was dropped if Eric Berry didn't need to sign a new contract this year. And that's the only reason he was dropped, because we need Eric Berry to sign a new contract. We need to offer him multi-million dollars, because he's probably the, probably the first or second, maybe even the... Th he might be the third, but he's probably... He gets to the Pro Bowl every year. He's probably in the top two or three um, safeties in the NFL. And we had to pay him the big bucks to keep him. And obviously, the big bucks were paid. <laughs> it was a lot of money. I don't even remember the amount of money. But it was big, <laughs> big bucks. And now, um, we need that. The only reason we got that salary cap is because we released Tramal Charles. Which we thought we could do since he had torn his ACL two times the last two seasons. We've been perfectly, absolutely perfectly fine without him. But all we need is Jacarnic West and Spencer Ware. And they've been perf perfectly capable of filling in his job and combining. And now with Nile Davis back for the maybe the really, really, really close situation, we're just trying to get an extra few millimeters or something like that. We now got um, we now got them both here. So, th I mean those three here, and C.J. Spiller will play. So we got Eric Berry signed, which I was crucial. He's Kansas City legend after beating cancer, and everybody wanted to stay at the Chiefs, and we finally got him to sign a new contract. But I mean, if it took Jamal Char releasing Jamal Charles, so what? Because we need the calorie space. He, we've been fine without him, and we. And he's going downhill anyway. So I think it was a great move by the Chiefs. And now we're going to be watching the video about why the Chiefs organization thinks we can survive without Jamal Charles. Because for quite a few years, he's been a vital, vital part of our success in Kansas City. If that of any that we've had. So we're going to watch why. I mean, it was the year before his second AC. It was the year before his second ACL tear. But why they thought Jamal Charles could limit his carries because our other two wide running backs were so good, and and they even thought we would have the best running back group in all of the NFL, which we won eleven and five without Jamal Charles for most of the season. So we did have a pretty good running back group because our passing game hasn't been that great. But Tyree Kill was the main reason. But that's a whole nother point. So let's get into this video. Okay, so let's get into the video and show the why Jamal Charles has been dropped and why we're going to be going with Spencer War and Sharkhandrick West instead of Jamal Charles to save this extra $6 million in cap and why we think that these two players are worth it. So let's get into the video. Let's go. Jamal Charles Jamal being injured. Charles. This is made before the 2016 season. So they're explaining why we can, why Jamal we can Charles limit Jamal Charles' limits, but why also that Serge Kendrick West and Spencer Ward worked because we were like one and five until Jamal Charles got hurt in the 2016 season, and we went on like an undefeated run the rest of the season. So that was really big. Why we, how we discovered Spencer Ward and Serge Kendrick West worked well together. Jamal this Jamal Charles uh, injury. Um, I mean, it looks, uh, with preliminary reports, it probably looks more like a torn ACL than it. Yeah, than that'd be a second in a row, which is why we're really it, concerned uh, this year. We'll this is the goes. first ACL, but this is the second ACL the this year that he already, like last year that he tore. This is two years ago when he turned his first ACL. Trent Green. 
the running game and the passing game. Jamal Charles tweeting that so he wants the formations, event. movements, protections. You know, he did everything. So how was the team going to adjust to that? I think most people in this town, if they were being honest, would say that you you really thought the season was over. I did because we, we were like one and five, and I thought it was over because we sure lost to one of our best players, or maybe our best player. Any way, anything to help my team. Char Kendrick. Yeah, he was on practice squad last year. He's an undrafted guy. They don't really know much about like, him. Nobody knew who these guys were. I, ne yeah, I never knew who Spencer was. Year, I really knew who Charlton was so, West was. Either where in West Jamal Charles running the radar. 30, 40 times a game every time he ran. Or maybe from the one-year line, we'd bring in Niall Davis to try to get, a, get us over the line. And what type of player he was. And then we uh, let him go, and then we got him back. The then the, the 2016 guy. season, we let him go like first week or two or something Dorsey like that. And we got him back um, later in the year. How like, was he going to respond? You know, like, to wow, okay. You never really know until a guy gets in there. You know, I think if you saw Shaquandrick West play in, in training camp and, and really even in, in the preseason games, you know, he flashed a couple of times. Yeah, but it's preseason and a lot of people flash and aren't really that good. Elusive and make people miss. So you can't just determine that from preseason game. run through arm tackles, which I think is a must. And West on second effort. Charkandrick West was great out of the backfield. He was a runner that would make you miss. Hand off right side goes to West with That's the ball. That's what Jamal Charles was or could be for another team now. Charkandrick West won't go down. He wasn't a punishing runner. He was going to take advantage of the space he was given. The key for the offense was to get him that space. Hand off, cut back run West. Inside the 15, the 10, breaks it to the inside the 5. Counter play West. Up the middle inside the 5. City. City and the with an onslaught. Here on the the onslaught. Like, see, I, I love the cheese commentators though. For Spencer Ware, just block, just go ahead. And it goes to Spencer Ware driving for the end zone. Touchdown! Kansas and they read really key in getting them involved in different ways. So we don't get involved Tyreek Hill and Travis Kelsey. That's gonna be vital to the 2017 season. So you they're PB2 after the skill, draft. That one quality, I mean, you can make up half of a dual running back uh, attack, and that's really what uh, Spencer Ware gave them. And Ware plows into the end zone. Right okay, so Spencer Ware gives us the dual running back attack. Off the head, touchdown. Ware, he, he's going to be able to give you a pass protection. Okay, so that's one of the reasons that works because he's really good. Uh, between the tackles runner that can help wear down a defense, then West can give you that lightning to where as a receiver, he can get in the open field, he can run all over defense, he can bounce it outside, he could hit the hole really quick on a trap. He can do whatever you need. Utilizing them together, if you do it the right way, defenses are rarely gonna be able to stop. Now he throws to West, wide open at the 40. 45, catch it back at midfield, to the center of the field around TJ Ward. 25, 20, 20, 15, 5, 10, touchdown. Touchdown. Kansas City. Kansas City. Yeah. He was breaking tackles, rough on the scene, like that we've been seeing. I think now you know what you have in those two guys. You know that they, either one of them can carry you. Uh, and that's hard to get from the 27th season while it's dropped Jamal Charles. To, to protect your reps on Jamal Charles. I mean, it's but with another torn ACL, is, you know, that's why we dropped him. The best running back this NFL has uh, ever seen. Instead of he was a great player when he was healthy, though. 35 touches in a game. Maybe Jamal only has to take 15. Well, now he's taking zero. Spencer is able to take 10. West is able to take 10. And okay, so able to space both of them combined you equal Jamal Charles, Jamal Charles you maybe a little bit better that, that can and combine to do the job, take less that carries, less plays each, and then and they, they don't get less likely to get injured. So that's that just the all around better for us. Defense. If one style fits better than the other, uh, you've got another guy that you can make sure that you've always got a fresh body in there, which I think is important. I would say that the running backs for the Kansas City Chiefs as a whole have an opportunity to be the best running back group in the NFL. Okay, so that was a good video. And so that's why the Chiefs think that we can... That kind of explains why the Chiefs think we could have done it with a little bit of Jamal Charles, and now what we're going to do without Jamal Charles. So we can win without them, and we think we can do it and win games like we've proven we can in the last two seasons without Jamal Charles and with those two running backs, and save salary cap that we can spend on somebody else. So that's why we're doing that, and 
hopefully that works out. And also that hopefully that works out that we can so now that Eric Berry can stay and play really well like I've already talked about. Hopefully Eric Berry takes advantage of this big contract that we gave him, which is not something I expected Chiefs to give him. And we can really have the defense that we've had where we break but don't bend and get interceptions. Let's go Chiefs. Let's have another good season next year and See you later, Jamal Charles, and welcome in CJ Spiller. I really don't know what you're going to do. Maybe special teams, but, I mean, that's Tyree Kill's job, so I don't know what you're going to do. But I'll be interested to see what you do, CJ Spiller, and that's it. Yeah, the radio been watching since a baby, so I'm representing Casey Mo. Casey Mo. Bro. I'm representing Casey